Yo, 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 it's Austin. I'm one of the pastors here at North Coast Church, and I'm bringing you today's Daily Dose. We are continuing our walk through the book of Philippians, and today we get to chapter three, uh, which is titled, Joy in Believing. So up to this point in Philippians, each chapter has had a theme, joy in suffering and joy in serving. And finally, we get to joy in believing, And I'm going to walk through the first three verses of this chapter, and we're just going to chat about what that looks like for us in our walk with God. And hopefully you leave today with some encouragement uh, to take wherever you're headed today, work, home, school, uh, wherever you're going today. Hopefully there's some encouragement here in the book of Philippians as Paul is writing. So let's jump in. Philippians 3 verse 1 says, Finally, my brothers, rejoice in the Lord. It is no trouble for me to write the same things to you again, and it is a safeguard for you. And essentially what Paul is saying is, hey, we have such a good news, such a great gospel to share with you and the people around that I have no shame in continuing, continually repeating the same thing over and over again. Guys, listen. I'm going to tell you the same thing over and over and over again because it is so true and we have so much confidence in it. And I love that he starts. Uh, Finally, my brothers, rejoice in the Lord. Verse two says this, watch out for those dogs, those evil men, those men who do evil, those manipulators of the flesh. For it is we who are the circumcision, we who worship by the spirit of God, who glory in Christ Jesus and who put no confidence in the flesh, though I myself have reasons for such confidence. And so Paul starts off this section, joy in believing, to say, guys, we have so much confidence, and I will repeat it over and over and over again, because we worship the Spirit of God, we glory in Christ Jesus, and we put no confidence in the flesh. And so I want to break that down, because there's some kind of big words and big thoughts in this passage that I just want to dissect. So he says, watch out for those dogs, those men who do evil, those manipulators of the flesh. And at this time, Paul was writing to the people in Philippi about this group of people who were kind of doing it backwards. They were getting circumcised as if to say the circumcision that they are undergoing immediately makes them a believer in Jesus Christ completely foregoing all the things that go into obeying God and having faith in him and doing the things that he says. And so I want to stop there because the next sentence he says, for it is we who are the circumcision. And I want to explain that because that's a little bit odd. But in Genesis 7, God comes to Abraham and says, I want you to circumcise your family because it is a sign of the sacrifice that I'm going to make for you. The sign that you're set apart. You're the people that I have chosen to spread the word uh, around to the world. And Paul is kind of saying this, that we are those people, Jews, Gentiles, it doesn't matter. We are part of this family that God has created, and it's up to us. But... People have taken this next step and said, oh, we're not going to live by the rules or anything. We're just going to do this step. And I think that there's so many people in our lives, our culture, who say that they're Christian, who say that they're believers in God, and they look good, but then they don't actually act upon those things. And the lifestyle that they live doesn't reflect that at all. And so Paul is just writing to encourage people, watch out for that. Keep an eye out for those people and stay confident in the relationship that you have in Jesus Christ because we are the circumcision. We are included in this body of Christ that Jesus came to save, died for, sacrificed himself on the cross so that we could have eternal life. And once again, he says, for as we are the circumcision, we who worship by the spirit of God, who glory in Christ Jesus, and we put no confidence in the flesh, Essentially, he's saying, focus your, thing, focus your eyes on not earthly things, but these heavenly things, these things that Jesus has called us to obey. And my encouragement for you as we go out this week, today, wherever you're headed, is just to have confidence in what you're doing, uh, in the relationship that you have in Jesus Christ, and go out and just do the things that God has called you to do in your life. And we can do some amazing things because we are part of that family. Hope you have a great day.